SmackDown obviously was building up this Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, which is coming up next weekend, actually. And at this point, we have four matches announced for Hell in a Cell. Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre for, in a Hell in a Cell match, by the way, last chance for Drew McIntyre, at least as long as Bobby is champion. Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, women's title, Bianca Bailey, women's title, and Roman Reigns, Rey Mysterio in a Hell in a Cell match for Roman Reigns' title. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking about this today. I watch SmackDown. It's the same show I see every week. Like, it's the same show. Just like Raw. It's the same show every week. And I was going to go up and, and find the Raw preview if there was one for tomorrow. I don't remember what they did or did not announce last week because... No, I'll tell you why. On Friday on this program, I was going over the lineups for all of the shows. I said, here's what we got coming up for AEW Dynamite. Nine segments, nine big matches here on this show. I said, here's what we have for, for New Japan Strong, NJPWWorld.com. We have three matches, which, by the way, are the three matches that are going to be on the show. They don't add anything else to the show. Then I said, SmackDown, you'll never guess. One match announced for this two-hour show on Fox. One match. One. You will be stunned, I am sure, to hear that they didn't even do that one match. They had one match announced for SmackDown on Fox, and they just didn't do it. And there wasn't even a good reason. It was it was supposed to be a tag team match. And the explanation was, we just got it canceled. I was like, what? So anyway, if there was a Raw preview, I'm not going to bother. Because if they don't care, I can tell you one thing, 100%, I don't care. What are you typing over there, Mike? What's going on? Nothing. What? Are you writing a book? What, I'm, I'm, you're busy ranting right now. I'm about to... to throw to you and you're sitting here typing the, a Bible chapter or something over there. What's going on? Are you mm. chatting? Jesus. I'm I don't see anything on the to... chat here with you. Well, I was typing it out. I didn't get a chance to hit send yet. How long does it take? I never liked the Redskins. You're not even chatting about wrestling. You're going back like 10 pages there, buddy. No, I'm not. That's the last thing you typed right here. You're getting bitter in your old age here. You turn 50, and this is what happens. Guys, you want to know what Simp's doing as I'm trying to talk pro wrestling on a pro wrestling radio show? He's chatting with his son about football on the chat. Is Avery in the chat? I didn't even realize He's talking that. about the same thing you're talking about. What did you think of SmackDown? You didn't even watch it. Is Kyle Pitts on SmackDown? There's no way you watched SmackDown, Pitts. did you? I watched SmackDown. No, you didn't. Come I on. I watched SmackDown and AEW. Yes, I'm going to quiz did. you. Good. All right. Um, You're going to talk about Otis looking like uh, yeah, what, Francis? Wh why do, wh Otis changed his look, and now he looks like a giant baby. What did he, he do? A, he... shave his face. B, put on a diaper. <laughs> oh, God. Don't give C, him ideas. C, slide out of a womb, which is Don't... the answer. <laughs> You know, sliding out of the womb would have gotten a lot better ratings, although would he have been late for that, too? He shaved his face, and now for everybody out there that ever saw Pee-wee's Big Adventure, he looks like Francis. So hopefully we get some sort of angle where somebody's yelling at Otis to give me back my bike. I don't know why he shaved his beard. That's the only that's that's what stuck out to you on all of SmackDown was that Otis shaved his beard? <laughs> You say, are you putting those words in my mouth? I'm no, not saying I'm that was the, the biggest. No. The biggest thing is the fact for me, because I love the act and I love everybody that's involved in the main event. Roman Reigns is great. Roman Reigns is the best professional wrestler in the world. If you want to view him that way, the greatest sports entertainer in the world, he is one of the strongest characters in all of pro wrestling. And like you mentioned with Dave, the Usos are fantastic in their role. Paul Heyman's fantastic with his but it's like there's nobody I want to see him against. And they keep trotting out guys like Claudio, like Rey Mysterio Jr., where it's like, okay, I can I can try to build up some belief in this, but, like, give me a reason to. And Dominic getting thrown at a cool angle so we get that, that video shot and Rey getting his ass kicked leading into this, you know, hell in the cell. It's like, uh, you know, they... They were able to build Bobby Lashley and by just staying away from him, by just not beating him. And he's a, a, a retread, a guy that's been around for a long, long time. But they were able to get something out of him. 
They have got to figure out a way to do this, to butt somebody up against Roman Reigns, even if they're going to lose, but somebody from in-house. Because you want to go back to The Rock, you want to go back to John Cena, you want to go back to all those guys, and then what? Then what? And unfortunately, they have nobody like that right now. And you look at all that talent spread across all of these rosters and you just scratch your head and go, why? And that's my biggest takeaway from SmackDown is like, I never, that group is fantastic. They're one of the best things in all of wrestling, but they have nothing else to go around with that. And that's the biggest problem. If a Zoom meeting is three hours, the Zoom meeting would have only been two hours, except there's about an hour of people going, your mic's not on, Frank. There's like hours of this. Frank, your mic's not on. There was a day where if you would have said, Brian, you and John Moxley have a lot in common. I would have said, no, we have nothing in common. We don't have one thing in common. Well, here it is in 2021, and he's about to have a beautiful baby daughter on my birthday, in fact. Mm. He is also an author. We're both grapplers. And he hates Zoom. I mean, I have more in common with him than most people. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.